that are obvious. I mean, it, you know, people know that malaria is not a disease that occurs here in the United States very commonly. In fact, there have been only a few cases in the last 50 years, but, but at least 10 million Americans are threatened with malaria all the time. So where do Americans go? They, they go as travelers and as business people. Uh, if malaria is controlled in a country, uh, that, that uh, is an incentive to increase tourism. It's an incentive to companies to, to invest and build in, in those countries. So there, there, there are very direct economic consequences apart from the general health and well-being of the citizens um, and uh, of, that, of that country and their ability to work hard. How many, in general, how many malaria cases and deaths are there globally? Well, there are between one and two million deaths a year most of them in Africa, some in Southeast Asia, mostly children under the age of three or four and, and pregnant women. Uh, but, but the number of, of, in, of uh, infections is truly astronomical. They're estimated to be as many as a half a billion people who have malaria uh, every year. So malaria, as you know, is a debilitating chronic infection. Some people have it nearly continuously during the malaria season. And uh, this, of course, has a tremendous effect on the effectiveness of, of uh, a workforce in countries where malaria is endemic.